The Samoan rugby league team and discussions out there that perhaps Andrew Johns, Matthew Johns and even Sonny Bill Williams might join forces to help coach the team. I'm pleased to say tonight SBW does join us here on High Sense Thursday Night Knockoff. Sonny, evening to you. Hey you guys. Great to be here. Great to have you on the show. Uh, I want to start this conversation, though, by uh, turning to Andrew. And mm. Andrew, how did this all come about, the, the discussion that the three of you may join forces uh, to coach Samoan? It was started informally, just uh, talking to a few Samoan players and talking about the, uh, the Tongan team, how good they've gone. Mm -hmm. And then looking at the list of the Samoan team, it's just they got a team that could not only challenge Tonga, could really challenge Australia, New Zealand... And, and uh, Great Britain or England, and there's no reason why they couldn't. And the big thing in for the Samoan team, they got some world-class halves: Luai, Dylan Brown, these sort of players. Well, I've miss some there, but um, for whatever reason, they haven't really fired the Samoan team. So I spoke to my brother, and he was sort of interested. And then had a little quick conversation with Sonny, and like Sonny said, yeah, I'd be sort of interested to help out too. So. You know, you got someone like Sonny Bill with his background and also his Samoan heritage. You can imagine what he would say, how he would inspire, especially the younger, or all the Samoan team. So it's exciting looking at it. Yeah, Sonny, tell us a bit about your connection, I guess, not only with that heritage, but the, the players as well. Yeah, for me, I'm a proud Samoan. Everyone knows that I'm a proud Pacific Islander. Uh, not just Samoan, but I'm proud of all the boys. And, you know... I'm a really vocal man when it comes to us as a Pacific nation. Uh, we represent so much on the field, but we seem to lack that representation off it. Um, we, like jo Joey touched on, we were having a coffee the other day, and he just touched on that him and his brother were pretty keen on getting into that space. And I said, well, if you guys get into there, I'll be, uh, I'll be keen to help out where I can. Um, so yeah, it, my, my, obviously I'm Samoan heritage, you know, my, my village, uh, villages in Samoa, Vailima and Vaimea, so I'm pretty proud of. I've visited a couple of times. Uh, but, yeah, it was an interesting conversation, but, I, you know, I took the chance straight away and said I'd be keen to help out uh, where I could. I want to ask uh, Joey a question. Uh, with the current coach, would you be willing to work with the team? Probably not. We've got our own philosophies. Uh, I haven't really spoken about Sonny about it, but I spoke to Matthew. And, you know, our philosoph philosophies and our ideas, how the team would play, I think we'd best do it on our own. Mm. Also, I've got one for Sonny as well. Uh, since this has blown up, Sonny, have you actually heard from any of the current Samoan players? I know uh, there's a few of the boys that are in the New South Wales development. And, uh, you know, Luai was uh, with the... Origin side as well. So, has any of the players reached out to you and said, "This, you know, this is a great idea." Yeah, you know, um, good to see you, Jono. Uh, as you know, with, with with your mob, and it's pretty much just like us as Polynesians. We don't need to be in contact every day. Like, I don't need to have even have met any of the boys. But when we connect, when we meet up, it's like we've known each other for our whole lives because we understand the dream, we understand the path, we understand the struggle that it's taken for us to get to where we are. And what it means for us and our families to represent. Um, for myself, you know, I, I don't really talk about a player, I mean a coach or a... I, I'm just about what's best for our people. And, you know, um, when it comes to Samoa, for instance, we've got some of the, 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 the top elite players playing the game. You know, young Joseph, Toto, uh, Nelson for Melbourne. Like, these guys are the, are the best players playing in the NRL um, and I'm with Joey like why can't they, why can't you know if they choose to why can't they represent Samoa and you know we do what you know the likes of Tonga and Pangai and you know the, these you know Tamalolo have done why can't we do that you know like obviously and look Payne Haas you know these guys are the elite of, of our game at the moment why can't we get that happen I have no doubt if the Samoan team they get together and get the right team there and the right people behind it, I have no doubt in the next five, ten years they can win a World Cup. OK. That confident of them. What's this space? In international football, then it would be back at that level. You've got yep. Tonga firing up. Yep. So so many great young Fijian players playing now. Papua New Guinea with the, the PNG Hunters getting stronger. I have no doubt in the world that Samoa in the next five, ten years could win a World Cup final. All right, we will be watching with interest. Uh, Sonny, always great to catch up, and uh, we'll see you soon. Sideline.